little pick in here. Uh, decided to go with the name kind of with Missouri in mind. Um, everything I've got for the sport so far is right here. Everything you see. Plus a uh, a vice I picked up the other day at uh, Harbor Freight for $15. Um, works alright. Doesn't work very good on this desk. It's kind of an old desk and kind of porous and doesn't stick very long, but it works. Um, I've got some, you know, some cores that I've taken out of lock, knobs and stuff. Um, just a few, like a Schlage and stuff like that. And, um, I tore a number three apart the other day just because I wanted to see what the core looked like. I had pictures on the Facebook group for that. Um, standard see-through lock. Nothing special. Um, some Chinese locks. Um, just kind of a hard spot, you know, little, like goes over what the 140s, the 40 millimeter. Bought that as a TSA group set. Um, the smaller version of it I nicknamed Devil Child because I swear it's full of nothing but security pins. It's I've picked it once in probably 10 tries. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at on that. Um, this lock here, I think I bought at like Dollar Tree or something. Um, it, uh, just like all the other Chinese locks out there, it can be. Well, let's see. Let's try this. This is what they're. They're calling a city rake. Let me show you against the black, black background here. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, maybe a bump key cut. You know, it's just kind of six deep cuts. But anyways, um, no tensioner needed at all. Just, and they were open. You know, um, I think it's number three is the binder. It's just... Put it the right way here. I mean, it's that quick. Those are very cheap Chinese made. Everybody knows that one. Um, and then the uh, disc detainer locks I got the other day. Um, they are bypassable. Um, they're not shielded. Just. So yeah, they're just cheap dollar locks just to play with. Um, I haven't really picked a detainer part of it yet, but uh, I'll get there. Oh uh, yeah, depth gauge. Um, that's the set I bought. Get these out of the way. Um, it comes with 15 picks, I think. Uh, 15 regular picks, and then it comes with the uh, five auto. Just the auto rakes, I guess you'd call them. That's like the half diamond. Then you've got the three hump with the one hump. Then you got a snake rake. And then just, you know, just generic rakes for auto locks, double sided tongue, uh, disc detainer locks. Or, uh, yeah. Came with these three Z bars. The, I, being new, originally thought they were for um, top of keyway tensioners, but uh, dimple locks are more what they're after. So, yeah, I thought I would just go out and cut one of them down to, you know, about right there or so, put some serrations in it and uh, use it for the top of the keyway. Doyle hawk, uh, shutter, tensioner. And then a music wire one here. I really don't like it. Um, when you try to put it in the keyway, it is way too thick for some of the warding. This one, it doesn't fit too bad in. Um, but if you try to put it in the master number three, it doesn't fit in around that bottom warding at all. I mean, like, at all. You really have to 
force it in there and then it just it, you end up at the top of the keyway and it takes up too much I don't I don't like it I don't use it um, I like everybody else made my own out of wiper insert um, which I have a bunch of here um, I work for a trucking company so we peel the wipers off all the time in the winter time so I take them off and I went out and stole this off the Explorer the other day one of those wipers that automatically adjusts to your windshield wiper um, these are extremely thick at 70 thousandths so I don't know if it's the paint on it or what but I'm gonna play with that and see what I can make out of it but for the picks you get six hooks um, various hooks from what looks like a gem I guess I don't see that one very well but um, it does have a little notch cut in it for like finding the pins um, so yeah, that's pretty nice standard hook a little bit deeper hook decent I mean they're all decent hooks problem is they're 35 thousandths so if you try to put them in this number three keyway here they they almost have to be forced into the keyway and I mean they're very very thick and they're definitely not stainless steel because I can bend them real easily um, I, I don't think I'll have these very long um, if I do I'll have to work them down quite a bit so what I did is I used the profile pattern and I made my own out of a paring knife. I bought four of these paring knives from Dollar Tree and I took it out to the shop and I ground a hook profile into it. And it is just about my go-to. Sits at about 24 thousandths looks really good. I really like that hook for single picking. Um, maybe a half ball? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe a half ball? Kind of round it off? I don't know. Maybe it could be made into an extractor. I don't know. And then you get some of these weird cut rakes. I don't know. This looks like a diamond on the end. Not really good shape on it. Um, and then there's weird variations of the same one. So, I mean, jigglers, I guess, uh, rakes. And you get the uh, deep cut bump key rake. I don't, I don't know, I guess maybe they were trying to make a city rake, L rake out of it, but uh, they're all even cuts. So, I don't I like it for, um, you know, these non tension needing Chinese locks. They're quick to do that. Um, makes a good rake. I, I go to this more than any other rake. It didn't come with a Bogota, so, yeah. Uh, come with a little snake rake. Um, pretty good shape on it, but again, it's very, very thick, so. Um, and then a uh, half double snowman? <laughs> half double ball? Um, and then a uh, dimple pick. I haven't played with dimples yet, so I don't know. So, but anyways, $13 for that. Um, I think it would be more as more as patterns than actual hooks or picks. So um, got my mat the other day in the mail. Um, uh, don't mean to throw some his name out there, but that's who I got it from. Um, with my set, I got this one here. It is one of the ones that. The cap does not come off of, so I can't repin it. I'd have to drill it and cap them, and it's just not worth all that. So, um, got my core removal tool and my hooks and rakes, and then I bought my $15 vise from uh, Harbor Freak the other day. So, that's where I'm at, guys. Um, looking forward to learning from you guys and seeing where this goes. Alright, thanks for watching.